Hi kids! How are you today? We hope that all of you are safe and are doing well. If this is your first time to join us, I would like to introduce myself and our church. My name is Teacher Diwa and welcome to Destiny Kids Church Online. We call our church Destiny because we believe in that word, Destiny. Can we say that together kids? Say Destiny! We also call our church destiny because of this word that God said in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Kids, let's read it together. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Do you like that verse, kids? That verse simply means that God has a plan for each one of us. God has a plan for you, for me, and for our families. And those plans are never to harm us. They are for our own good and they are for our future. That verse also means that God's plan for our lives is always okay, approved, and the best. Can we say that together, kids? God's plan for my life is always okay, approved, and the best. So now kids, before we go to our lesson, let's start with worship first. Let's all stand up, set our hearts and minds on God, and let's worship Him. Enjoy kids! of righteousness and never compromise put on the gospel shoes and share about god's love to people all around put on the armor of god every morning before your feet even hit the ground be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might yeah yeah Put on the whole armor of God That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil Put on the whole armor of God That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil Ephesians 6, 10 and 11 Now wear the shield of faith that's only found in Christ The helmet of salvation, cause Jesus paid the price And hold the spirit sword, the word of God, cause it'll keep you safe and sound Put on the armor of God every morning before your feet even hit the ground Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might, yeah, yeah Put on the whole armor of God That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil Put on the whole armor of God That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil Ephesians 6, 10 and 11 Around your waist, the belt of truth. Guarding your heart with the breastplate of righteousness. Walk around the world with the gospel shoes. Wear on your arm the shield of faith. Protect your head with the helmet of salvation. Hold in your hand the sword of the Spirit. Hold in your hand the sword of the Spirit. Hey, 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 hey. Come on and put 
on the whole long road, God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Put on the whole long road, God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Ephesians 6, 10, and 11. So did you enjoy our worship time, kids? We hope you did, and we really pray that you engage your hearts and minds to God in our worship. So now, kids, let's go to today's lesson. For the past weeks, we have been in this series, the Armor of God series. And who among you kids are enjoying this series? Can you raise your hands? That's great. Our key verse for this series is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 11. Can we read this again together, kids? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 11. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So kids, we are talking about this series because we can see in that verse that we are in a battle, a battle with the devil. And that's why it is important for us to know about the armor of God so that we can take a stand, we can fight against the devil's schemes against our lives. And so far kids, we have learned about two parts of the armor of God. Can you tell me what we have learned so far about the armor of God? First was the, the belt of truth. The second, we learned about the breastplate of righteousness. And for today, kids, we will talk about the third part of the armor of God. Can you guess what the third part of the armor is? I'll give you a clue. We wear it in our feet. Can you guess? If you said sandals, shoes, or slippers, you are correct. Today, we will talk about the sandals with the gospel of peace. This can be found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15. It says there, And with your feet, fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And for today, kids, we will talk about why do we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace and how do we wear it. But first, let's unlock a few key words. What does gospel mean again, kids? Do you still remember? Gospel simply means the good news of Jesus Christ. It talks about how Jesus died for us and saved us from our sins. And when we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace, we are ready to share this good news of what Jesus did to others. For us to better understand it, let's watch this video, kids. Excuse me, James, what's happening? Jesus is sending us out to nearby towns to share the love of God and prepare the way for Him. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask Him to send more workers into His fields. Father, send more workers that the harvest may be great. Go. And remember that I am sending you out as lambs among wolves. Don't take any money with you, nor a traveler's bag, nor an extra pair of sandals. And don't stop to greet anyone on the road. As soon as you enter a home, say, God bless this home with peace. If the people living there are peace-loving, your prayer for peace will bless them. But if they are not peace-loving, your prayer will return to you. 
If the people of a town welcome you, eat whatever they offer. Heal their sick. <laughs> and say, the kingdom of God has come near you. Praise God! I am healed! What is the matter with this man? An evil spirit has taken hold of him, and he cannot be calmed! Come out! Thank you. Thank you. So did you enjoy that story kids? We hope you did. We can see in that video how Jesus sent out the disciples to the towns around them. And isn't it amazing kids what the disciples were able to do because they followed Jesus and they shared the gospel? We saw in that story how they were able to bring peace, healing, and even cast out evil spirits because they followed Jesus and shared the gospel. And you know what, kids? We can do the same. We can bring peace, healing, and even cast out evil spirits if we wear the armor of God and especially if we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace. So why is it important that we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace? First, for others to know about Jesus and his good news. Of course, how can others know about Jesus if no one tells them about him? We can see in Romans chapter 10 verse 14, But how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? So that's why, kids, it is important for us to wear the sandals of the gospel of peace so that we can be able to share Jesus to our friends, to our families, to our cousins, to the people around us, just like what we saw in that story, how Jesus sent out the disciples. They were ready to share the gospel. And we have to be the same kids. Let's wear the sandal of the gospel of peace so that other people can know Jesus as well. And the second reason why we need to wear the sandals of the gospel of peace is this, for others to be able to receive what Jesus offers, peace, healing, and even cast out evil spirits. How among you kids are blessed that you know Jesus, that you know God? You feel peace, you feel joy, you feel love, and you feel that um, someone is guiding you. Do you want others to feel the same way? Do you want others to know Jesus? I bet you do. So that's why we need to wear the sandals of the gospel of peace so that we are able to share Jesus to others. So teacher, how do we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace? First thing, kids, is we need to be ready. We need to always be ready to share the gospel of peace or the good news of Jesus Christ to other people. As we read in the verse earlier in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. The key word there, kids, is readiness. We have to always be ready to share Jesus to the people around us. We will never know, kids, when someone needs Jesus. We will never know when someone will ask us, Why do you believe Jesus? Why do you pray? Why do you read the Bible? 
when that time comes, kids, we need to be ready to answer them and share Jesus to them, to share the gospel of peace. And the second thing, how can we wear the sandals of the gospel of peace is this. We need to know what we believe in and why we believe it. Who among you kids experienced this? Someone asks you a difficult question and you can't answer because you don't know. Who among you experienced that? It's the same thing, kids, with the good news of Jesus. If someone asks us and we don't know Jesus, we don't read the Bible, we don't pray to Him, it is really hard for us to share the good news to them. So that's why we need to always pray, always read the Bible, always talk to Jesus so that we can be ready to share Him to other people. That when someone asks us, Do you know Jesus? We can say yes with confidence and we can tell them what Jesus has done for them. We can tell them that Jesus died for their sins and that they can be saved through Jesus. Alright, so that's our lesson for today, kids. Before we go, can we close in prayer? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for the good news. Thank you for dying for us on the cross and saving us. Lord Jesus, help us to be like the disciples. Help us to wear the sandals of the gospel of peace always, that we will be always ready to share your love, your good news to our friends, our family, and the people around us. We thank you, Lord, for everything. We love you, Lord, and praise you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So now, kids, let's go to our memory verse. Our verse for this week is John chapter 14, verse 27. Can we read this together, kids, before we memorize? John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So kids, we will be talking about this verse for us to always remember that Jesus wants to give us peace and He also wants to give that peace to others. Okay? So are you ready to memorize our verse? Follow after me, kids. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Let's do it again, kids. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Did you get that, kids? Can you show us? Did you memorize it already, kids? If not, just keep on practicing until you memorize our verse. And always remember, Jesus wants to give peace to everyone. So that's it for today, kids. We hope you enjoyed our lesson and we'll see you again next week 
as we continue the Armor of God series. Bye!